Creating dramatic lens blur, defocusing, and depth of field effects is really easy, especially if you're wanting to create something like realistic bokeh. But of course, it's very easy if you have a camera and a lens that actually does that. Well, with the new camera lens effect in After Effects CS 5.5, we allow you to create very realistic lens blur, even with footage that was shot in perfect focus. So let's take a look at how we do that. But first, I'm going to show you what this finished version looks like. So if we take a look here, what we have is our character. And you can see that the focus shifts from the foreground to the background and back again, or background to foreground and back again, where we start in focus on his face, the focus shifts to his hand, back to his face, and then we have this light ball that's illuminating and again starts in focus as the focus approaches his hand and then defocuses as we move back. This process is known as a rack focus. And I'm going to show you first how we can create the rack focus. Now the idea here is that we're going to modify the distance settings to create a realistic rack focus. And then afterwards, we're going to create that photorealistic bokeh and uh, evidence all those edge halos as it renders those out of focus points of light, reproducing the exact characteristics of real cameras and lighting conditions. So in order to do this, I'm going to first start by turning off the effect. Let's go ahead and turn off our camera lens blur on both of these layers. And allow me just to scrub through this so that you can see, in fact, that this entire shot is in focus. It's not out of focus. So everything that you saw a moment ago was created in After Effects. So let's do the rack focus. Now to do that, we have to add a blur map. We add the blur map so we can not only defocus the entire layer, but we can actually reduce the depth of field effects directly in that single image. So what you can see here is that I actually have a blur map. You can take a quick look at that. And you can see if we just zoom back out here, the blur map being drawn on the hand. And if I go up to my BG layer and I turn on camera lens blur, you can see that the blur map layer is set to layer number four, BG blur map, and we're using the luminance channel here. And simply by adjusting the blur focal distance, which currently is set to zero, and you can see that the hand is in perfect focus, if I raise this now to one, it shifts the focus to his face, back to zero, focus shifts to his hand. We've just created a rack focus very easily. So now what we want to do, now that we've created that rack focus, let's focus on adjusting the actual uh, look of the light ball in his hand. And for this, we obviously want the light ball to be in focus as the camera approaches the hand. And then when it defocuses and moves back to his face, we want to create those circles of confusion, right? That beautiful photorealistic bokeh, which actually mimics the shape of the camera aperture. And all of this can be done with the iris property settings inside camera lens blur. So let's go up to the light ball layer here. And you can see that we've got this set. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And right away, it'll start adding that effect. And if we scrub through, you can see that now, as the focus shifts back to his face, we begin defocusing on that light bulb. And we get these really beautiful shapes here. Now, you can see it's using a hexagon. Now, if I actually wanted to mimic something like an 85 millimeter prime f1.8 wide open, it might actually be a bit more circular. So I can set this to something like octagon. I can adjust the roundness. But the key here is, by using one single part of this effect, the blur radius, I can very quickly adjust how that's going to look. So simply by adjusting that one parameter, the blur radius, we can create those beautiful circles of confusion, that photorealistic bokeh, and really change the look of this. And again, remember, this was all entirely in focus. Brilliant stuff. The best part about this, too, is that the AE composition cameras can even use these same settings to get more realistic depth of field blur. Brilliant stuff. It's the camera lens blur feature in After Effects CS 5.5.